LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries are projected to overtake NMC or nickel manganese cobalt batteries by 2028, though we believe this shift will occur even sooner. As this transition nears, a frequent question from consumers is how to maximize the lifespan of their batteries. The answer heavily depends on the specific battery chemistry. Studies show that both NMC and LFP batteries experience degradation when left in a fully charged state for extended periods. NMC batteries are particularly sensitive to being cycled at higher charge percentages and prefer shorter, frequent charging and discharging cycles. In contrast, LFP batteries can tolerate deeper discharges with optimal performance occurring when they are cycled between around 70% and 20%. However, LFP batteries are less suited to shorter charge cycles at higher charge levels, making their charge-discharge characteristics different from NMC. Understanding these preferences helps in maximizing battery life and performance. According to the latest findings from Jeff Don's lab, operating a battery near full charge 75% to 100% state of charge is particularly harmful to LFP batteries. Time spent cycling the battery at these higher states of charge is a major factor in degradation. In fact, the study recommends operating LFP cells at lower state of charge ranges when possible. The study examined how different state of charge ranges affected battery lifespan. Five ranges were tested, 0 to 25%, 0 to 60%, 0 to 80%, 0 to 100%, and 75 to 100%. Each range was subjected to 2,500 hours of cycling, ensuring the same total energy throughput for each test. The results showed that lower state of charge ranges, such as 0 to 25% and 0 to 60%, led to significantly less degradation than higher ranges like 75 to 100%. This finding suggests that lower charge ranges help prolong battery life by reducing the stress on the battery. But why does charging at a higher state of charge lead to more degradation? The answer lies in the chemistry of lithium-ion batteries. A key failure mode for LFP batteries is the reduction of lithium inventory. As lithium ions move between the positive and negative electrodes during charging and discharging, some of this lithium inventory is lost. The more lithium lost, the less capacity the battery has. Higher state of charge levels result in higher voltage, which accelerates these negative reactions within the battery's electrolyte, consuming lithium at a faster rate. This reduction in lithium inventory happens regardless of battery chemistry, whether LFP or NMC with a graphite electrode. The result is the same. Additionally, the cycling process itself can cause further damage. When cycling between 75% and 100%, iron from the positive electrode dissolves and deposits onto the negative electrode, further consuming lithium and degrading the battery. This creates harmful compounds that reduce battery capacity over time. When comparing the voltage curves of NMC and LFP, two key differences emerge. First, NMC batteries tend to operate at higher voltages. More importantly, LFP batteries have a flatter voltage curve. This means that for NMC, it's relatively easy to determine the battery's state of charge based on voltage readings. For example, at 3.7 volts, an NMC battery might be around 50% charged. But for LFP batteries, a voltage reading of 3.4 volts could correspond to anywhere from 25% to 85% charge because of the flatter curve. This makes it harder to determine the precise state of charge for LFP batteries. So, how do manufacturers compensate for this? They rely on counting the electrons that go in and out of the battery, essentially measuring the current flow over time. However, this calculation becomes less accurate as time passes, meaning that the driver may not know the exact charge percentage remaining. To correct this, manufacturers recommended charging the battery to 100% once per month. 
By doing so, the battery reaches a voltage spike that recalibrates the system and allows the vehicle to accurately display the charge level. In summary, keeping an LFP battery fully charged frequently can create harmful compounds that accelerate degradation as the combination of higher voltage and active cycling contributes to the loss of lithium and iron from the battery's electrodes. To minimize this, it's best to operate the battery at lower state of charge ranges, reserving full charges for occasional recalibration. The two main best practices for LFP batteries are clear, charge to 100% once per month to ensure accurate range readings and store the battery at around 50% when not in use for extended periods. These recommendations are tailored to the unique properties of LFP chemistry, which behaves differently from NMC batteries. While charging to 100% to often can accelerate degradation, it's essential for recalibrating the charge indicator and ensuring accurate readings.